know the elderly are at high risk for COVID-19 and about a third of the people who have died here in Michigan are nursing home residents. But are those deaths preventable? Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is uncovering a disturbing pattern in nursing home inspections. I'm in front of the Beaconshire nursing home in Detroit and what happened here on April 2nd is a prime example of the type of things that are putting nursing home residents at high risk of catching COVID-19. And what I found as I looked through state inspection reports is that this is not an isolated incident that only happened here. This is a look at a state report detailing an inspection at the nursing home near Losser and 8 Mile in Detroit. The inspector found patients in quote, immediate jeopardy. The reason? Workers did not appear to know how to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The inspector saw one worker eating lunch without a mask, gown or gloves on, while feeding a patient with suspected COVID-19. The worker then left that room and went to care for another resident. COVID has just identified and exacerbated a much bigger problem that's been chronic for many years in many of these facilities. Heather Pagano is the emergency coordinator for Doctors Without Borders in Michigan. She is part of a team working to educate nursing home workers on how to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in Metro Detroit. If you thought Doctors Without Borders usually responds to health emergencies in poorer countries, you'd be right. We go where the needs are greatest and where there are vulnerable people who are neglected or left behind. The team is helping about 30 nursing homes in the area. 7 Action News reviewed all the COVID-19 inspection reports posted online by the state in Wayne County. They show it's needed. Inspectors found 20 of the 72 nursing homes in the county not meeting requirements put in place to prevent the spread of the virus. Five of them such as Beaconshire, had violations so severe the state said residents were in immediate jeopardy. And you have to introduce all these extra measures that people have to, uh, that the staff have to put in place. It's, it's difficult. And then often these are some of the most um, overworked and underpaid healthcare workers in the entire healthcare system. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.